Good morning, Internet! I'm Surreal Canine, and we are back with more Disguise 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we learned the truth behind uh, Artina, Valvatores, and Judge Nemo. In this episode, uh, we're going to make some more progress into a uh, Fear the Great's uh, home dimension type thingy. And hopefully, we're going to find Judge Nemo and put an end to all of this soon. Dark Mud. Let's go. This looks like another filler map with giant monsters. Alright, let's see what we got here. And we have a reverse damage here. Okay, well first of all we need to get a we need to get a unit of some kind onto these uh, onto these panels. Recovery 40%, you say. <laughs> uh, that might just work. Yeah, okay. Everyone, let's go! Actually, no, we really want a measle over there, not a, not Desco, not at first. HP SP switch, though, that might just be a thing to, uh, uh to set off this guy. Yeah, there we go. At least one of my computers is, uh, getting rather hot. Alright, it settled down. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, hold off for now. Yeah, my reasoning here is that... Ouch. Uh, bye, Desco. My reasoning here is that we are not really uh, equipped to, to uh, reverse heal this guy. All of our healers have pretty low res, so, uh, yeah. So, we're just gonna take the slow way around. Let's see, I gotta get rid of this Geo block so the measle can, uh, reach the other thing. Although, since everybody's a giant monster, uh, it may very well be that the uh, that, that succubus can't leave her uh, her block. Which is good for me, because I don't know how much uh, punishment a is going to be able to take. Alright, that takes care of that bit, though. Pink Illusion! <laughs> it was a trap! Alright, yeah, we done. Alright, now. Take this! Here I go! Here I come! Need to get the music healed up here. Alright, and can Valvatoris survive the, uh, Guns Braster? Turns out it doesn't even matter. Let's see, can I reach with a Delta? Yes, I can! Ah! 
And down goes a measle. Uh, that's okay, because, uh... Can I hit with a Catly Raid? Yes, I can. The teal saves the day. Awesome sauce. Alright, that's uh, map four taken care of. Lunar Orb, uh, I might just have to put that on Sasha. Yeah, that that gives a little bit of extra uh, power. Alright, make sure everyone's healed up. Let's go! Map 5. Deadly option. Uh, stay out of my way. Get out of here. Why don't you tell us your plan, Fenric? Well, it's nothing great, but I'll need to test the waters first. I made a vow to myself. I'll destroy every human being for myself, for my family. For Miss Arjuna, Judge Nemo, do you think that's really the most righteous thing you can do? Do you think Artina would be pleased with your actions? Miss Artina? That's right. Didn't Artina save you at the cost of her life? Would a woman like that seek vengeance? Don't you think this would only disappoint her? Fenric is going the uh, the Garen route here. <laughs> disappoint, Miss Artina. I don't expect anybody but Fox to get that. How is this happening? Fen Fen's being nice. This is unbelievable, Mr. Fen Fen. I'm more surprised that he was actually able to carry on a conversation with Malice. Judge Nemo, you can hear my voice, can't you? You're purposely trying not to see the angel in front of you, aren't you? Can't you see her? An angel, you say? There's no angel here. I can't see her. I know you can. You're just in denial. You just don't want to admit the fact that a woman who died because of you has gone on to become an angel. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Talk to him, thief angel. Can you hear me? That... that voice is... It's me, Artina. I'm right here. Th that's impossible! It's not. You've been deceiving your own eyes and heart. The woman who stands here is none other than Artina. She has watched over you ever since she died. She has tried to speak to you countless times to save you from your own curse. But her voice never reached your ears. Now, that voice is desperate and pleading. Mr. Werewolf. As if he's seen it himself. I'm rather impressed by my servant. Artina! Artina! That's right, Artina is here. She doesn't wish for you to destroy the world. Your actions are only breaking her heart. Artina! Artina! Fenfen is right. Please don't do anything more to hurt Artina. Miss Artina is right here with us! Please believe us, Mr. Nemo! Yeah, just believe in her, and you'll be able to see her! Artina! Artina! Ah! Uh-oh, he's breaking down! Don't you dare speak her name, demon! Only I am worthy of calling out her holy name! I, who dedicated my life to exact retribution for her death, am the only one who can utter her name! Please stop! I don't wish for any of this! No! You're lying! That's not true! Damn! I suppose my words weren't enough to tame his malice. You can't trick me! I'm gonna destroy the world! I'll kill you all! Bastard! Are you saying that you're even going to kill Artina? This Artina is dead! Humans and demons are both responsible for killing her! So I'm gonna kill all of you!
Well, we tried. And this totally looks like a job for uh, for Delta of Death. Umbra Cube, you say? Mm, no idea what that is. Here I go. Okay, that was not quite a kill. Um... Everyone, let's go. Here I come. There it is. All right, that's that's four kills, and uh... let's see. Bless me. Uh, Artina probably yeah. won't be able to finish that guy off by herself, but. Ooh, cursed dance. That's uh, bust some balls. that's not good. Here I come. There. Oh hey, uh, Martina learned a new skill. I'm gonna have to check that out at some point here. Okay, yeah, that was that was even more terrible than I thought it would be. Uh, Here I come. Ha! I got this. Here I come. Whoops. It's not who I intended to pick up. Ha, ha. All right, that kind of works. Now I just gotta. Wait for everybody to come down here, I guess. Or I guess we could start a we could start building a tower. Or a staircase rather. Uh-oh. Let's get ugly. Well, if nothing else, Desco is going to be able to reach that high with her attacks. Seeing we can get somebody to uh, throw her up onto the pile. Actually, yeah, she can make that jump by herself. Like so. Huh. All right, uh, let's try making another stack here. Nope, no bad idea. Okay. But. Toss that, and then we can toss the, uh, Next green cube that comes along. Here I come. Like so. There. Here I come. There. 
That works. We just gotta get some more guys up there. Here I come. Yeah. Oh, hey, that can reach. That's pretty great. Alright, let's get up here and finish the job. Oh. Alright, Desco, looks like I'm throwing you. Yeah, there's like a... Um. Oh! Yeah, there is a gap of one. Well, you know, whatever. Not quite the epic kill I was hoping it would be. Whatever the case, map clear. Gladiator is available to create. That's pretty great. My life was saved by Miss Artina. So I'll dedicate my entire life to punishing all human beings and the entire world. That's that's my atonement. He's done. He's becoming fanatical. He won't listen to our words. Looks like we shouldn't have mentioned Miss Artina. We might have to just defeat each malice we find, one at a time. It's gonna take forever, though. No. We have to make him acknowledge Artina's existence in order to break him. He must admit that Artina, the main purpose for his vengeance, has reappeared as an angel. If he understands the truth, that revenge is not what Artina wants, then his actions and his very existence will be invalidated. Such mental damage will be much more effective than any physical damage could ever be to Judge Nemo. You may be right, but is that why you were being really nice to him? Why else? My only intentions were to cause him pain and to destroy him from the onset. That aside, I agree that making Nemo acknowledge Artina's presence is the best way to stop him. Yes, I agree as well. If we can make him do that, we'll be able to tame the power of malice. If we can control his malice, the power of Fear the Great will be weaned off, and that will be our chance to attack. Excellent. I will do whatever it takes to make him believe that she is an angel. Mr. Vampire. <laughs> Mr. Valsy is the only demon who would fight to make someone believe in angels. Desco, you're wrong. Valsy isn't fighting for the sake of angels. He's fighting for the sake of Artina. But he probably won't admit it. Oh, and neither will Fen Fen. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. That sounds pretty final bossy. So, uh, hmm, what to do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something that I should have done way back in chapter 6. 
Let's go to the uh, campaign HQ. In your service, my lord. Let's see, where can I set this up? I guess right here is as good a spot as any. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, Val, Val is sitting there. That's not going to work. I guess I could put it here for now. Let's place the legendary tree. There. Uh, far from the most optimal solution, but I mean, we're kind of working with a bit of a cramped space here. <laughs> Trying to get everybody fit in. Oh well. Now, if we talk to the legendary tree, you can see that we can uh, assign our relationships. What we want to do is set Artina as Valvatoris' lover. So this is only a temporary relationship for now, but we can make it permanent by doing something that they will appreciate. In this case, uh, this means that we go into an easy map. Everyone, let's go. Here I go. And we just gotta heal Lavatoras ten times. Alright, now that we've done that, let's just finish the map. Turn to the uh, the campaign HQ. I will have a happy ending. Did that not work? Why didn't that work? Does Valvatoras need to heal Artina? Is that it? I mean, easy enough with the uh, the extra gain system, but it seems very I odd. I shall reeducate you. Here I go. Oh well, might as well set them to heal each other, I guess. Come get me! Yeah, it has to be the leader healing the lover. Okay. Alright, that should be 10. Let's finish the map. Alright, let's 
let's return to the legendary tree. All hail, Lord. An event under the legendary tree. Artina is giving Valvatores a loving look. Then, with a smile, Artina tells Valvatores some words of love. Valvatores returns the smile and holds Artina's hand. Artina and Valvatores have become great partners. Yay, shipping! <laughs> now, I am told that this, uh, the ending that comes from this will be unlocked even if you don't have any relationships with anybody. But, uh, I just want to be sure. Let's return to base. And now that we have done that, I will see you all next time. Bye bye